Hello Libra and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. Now I always remind you these are general readings so please do take what is resonating and leave behind anything that is not resonating with you. The first message that is coming up for you, the divine is saying to you that you've been doing a great job. Okay, and to carry on focus, carry on going because your efforts are going to pay off. So don't give up now because the finish line is almost around the corner. Why is this? Because our next card is talking to you about new beginnings and new chapters that are going to be on the horizon for you. So it is important for you to step into maybe starting a gratitude journal, starting to communicate to the divine, showing gratitude, showing thanks, because the energy of gratitude amplifies your desires to become a reality a lot sooner. So it is important for you not to give up now because the divine wants you to understand that new beginnings are just around the corner for you. The divine is saying that as you are putting in a good effort, as you are really staying focused, it is important for you to understand that the divine is going to be showing you important synchronicities. The divine is going to be pointing you in the right direction. So it is important for you to stay focused. It is important for you to listen to your guides. It is important for you to listen to your ancestors and to listen to the divine because you're going to be seeing that by doing so, you are able to receive synchronicities. You're able to receive pointers that are pointing you in the right direction. So it is important for you to open up your eyes, to open up your ears, to open up your hearts and to listen to all the divine messages that are coming in for you. This could be in your dreams, okay? This could be maybe you over, overhearing a conversation and things just making sense, a penny just dropping, you just receiving an important understanding about your situation. So the divine truly wants you to understand, Libra, that stay focused, keep going. Things are going to be changing for you. Synchronicities are going to be there. Notice them because they are being created to keep you motivated, to keep you on track. Your new beginning, your manifestations are here for you to receive. You're going to be entering your gentle era. You're going to be entering your era of enjoying luxury. You're going to be entering your era that you've been praying for for quite some time. So what we're going to do next, we're going to be grabbing our tarot cards to amplify and to elaborate on the messages that are on the table. So as I'm getting our cards, I always remind you of our candle magic ceremonies that are coming up next. We have our Cancer New Moon that is going to be happening on the 17th of July. And of course, you're always invited. We're going to be working on manifestations. We're going to be saying our prayers. We're going to be doing our rituals. We're going to be doing everything that we need to do to make sure that the energies are electrical, the energies are magical. As I'm saying my prayers, as I'm saying your prayers, and together as we're working as a collective energy to make sure that we're uplifting the energies that are around us. Because as the saying goes, where one, two or more people are gathered together with the same intentions, miracles happen. So this is why I offer the candle magic ceremonies. This is why I do the things that I do. If you're wanting to be part of this cancer new moon cere celebration ceremony, go in the description box below and you'll be able to see my website. Go on my website and have a look around to see. There are other services that are there. There are banishing services, cord cutting ceremonies, return to center ceremonies, as well as spiritual cleansing ceremonies. If you just feel that you're in a bit of a funk, you're feeling a bit stuck, you're feeling like you're a bit in, in a rut, okay? If you just feel like maybe you're just going through a phase where you're experiencing bad luck, then doing that cleanse could also be the thing that opens up the new do doors and the new beginnings for you. So let's have a look to see what is going on. So as I can see, the only challenging card that the divine is wanting to talk to you about is the energies of the Ten of Swords. So the divine is saying to you, like I already said, if you don't stay focused, you are not going to be receiving your manifestations. You are not going to be receiving the things that you pray about. So it is important for you to stay forward focused, not to be looking at the past not to allow the past to come and steal your joy, to come and steal your future, to come and steal the things that are wanting to come into your life. So for some of you, you've experienced people stopping you in the back. You've experienced cut cutthroat situations. You have just experienced a lot. And for some of you, you just feel right, right now you are drowning. But the divine is saying, hang on. Because again, your efforts are going to be paying off. 
Say your prayers, communicate to the divine. A new chapter, a new beginning is on the horizon. All the suffering, everything, all the challenges that you've experienced, these are coming to an end. Why is this? Well, when we observe the energies of the number 10s, they are the last number. They are the last sequence in the series of the swords, right? And then things change. We go back to number one. We go back to the aces. So the divine is saying there is an ending that is here that you've been experiencing. And there's a new beginning, like I already told you, that is going to be starting up for you. But again, the emphasis on the energies of the Ten of Swords is wanting to tell you that you just could be triggered to start feeling the pain that happened in the past. And then by doing that, you start losing focus. You start feeling angry, you start feeling disappointed, you start feeling the betrayal as if it's or if as if it's just happening in this present moment in time or just recently, even though this pain could be in the distant past. So the divine is saying, let this pain go. You have bigger fish to fry. Literally, you have bigger fish to fry. The energies of the your efforts paying off, you're receiving the um, three of wands where we're seeing you climbing the ladder. Below that, you're receiving the energies of the three of pentacles where we're seeing you collaborating with other people and bringing the bag in. The bag is going to be chasing you. The money is going to be chasing you and you are going to be finding the people who are loyal. You're going to be finding people who are worth building something with. So the three of wands is saying to you, your ships are coming in. The three of pentacles is saying the money is coming in. And so this is why you received our card that is telling you not to give up now because your efforts are about to pay off. Like I already told you when we were just looking at our oracle cards. So the energies of the king of pentacles is here telling you again that you are going to be receiving a lot of abundance. You're going to be receiving a lot of joy before you know it, you're going to be sitting on your throne and looking back on the journey that you've been on. And you're going to be giving yourself that pat on the back for a job well done. Because you managed to stay focused on the journey instead of being distracted by this energy in the middle here. The energies of the Ace of Cups are coming in. And I like that you receive the Ace of Cups underneath the New Beginnings card. So again, there is just that feeling of a new era where you are feeling like this, where you feel like you've got the time to sit down and to take your time as you are writing your gratitude journal. You're buying yourself the flowers. You're doing the thing that just brings you joy because there are new beginnings connected to your heart, connected to healing, connected to you washing away the pain that is connected to the past. So not only are you using that water element to cleanse, you're also using that oil element to bring gratitude. Okay, the ten of the ten of swords. There is water that is here, and this turbulent situation is going to be washed away. And not only that, as the king of pentacles, here you are again with your water, with your wine. You're just enjoying life. So I like the fact that our three cards have that water element in different forms. Here you're writing a gratitude journal. You're taking your time. You're really embodying the energy of whatever it is that you're wanting to bring in. And when it is time for you to look at the past and do the cleansing and do the crying, you do so. Because you know that there is power in releasing whatever it is that you're holding within your body. And as the king of pentacles, you allow yourself to relax and to enjoy the things that have now manifested in your life because you have really stayed focused all the way to the end that now you are enjoying the good things in life. Okay, next to the King of Pentacles, you have the energies of the Nine of Pentacles and the energies of the Nine of Pentacles. Again, your money is here. Your money is growing. You are at the top of your game. The energies of the Nine of Pentacles is that energy that reminds you that the abundance the riches, the wealth that is coming in is going to be made through your own hands. So it is important for you to remember to stay focused because you are going to be working hard and your hard work is absolutely going to be paying off. Okay, so these are the energies that the divine wanted to give you that encouragement to say to you, hey, keep going. Don't give up now. Things are going to change. Yes, life has dealt you some difficult blows. 
Some painful situations have come into your life, but these don't have to define you. Look at this, release it, let it go, and come and enjoy the good things in life that are wanting to flow into your life as you are climbing that ladder. So, beloved, this is the reading that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And remember, all the rituals, the kind of ceremonies that I do, the vanishing ceremonies, the cutting cords, everything that I do can be found in the description box below. You'll be able to go to my website and have a look around to see what is calling out to you. I'm going to see you very soon and it is a goodbye from me.